Good morning and welcome to SNN. Today is October 24th, 2014. It's a hawk day, which means star periods 2, 4, and 6. Yes, we are SNN, but yesterday CNN reported on a main man, man sorry, by the name of Kevin Vickers. We don't often talk about national news on SNN, but this year we're going national a little more often, especially when it's inspiring. Two days ago, Vickers, who is the Sergeant of Arms of Canada's House of Commons, was credited with gunning down an armed man who stormed in minutes after killing a Canadian soldier standing guard at a nearby veterans memorial. CNN noted that yesterday, Kevin Vickers led the procession solemnly, silently, yet there was noise all around him and all for him. Parliamentarians responded Thursday by saluting Vickers with a standing ovation as he walked in front of the line as part of his ceremonial duties for the start of a new session. Applause was interrupted by, on by only occasional cheers and pounding of benches. Yet Vickers, carrying a ceremonial sword and dressed in traditional attire, nodded gently to acknowledge the ovation but didn't address the crowd. Mr. Vickers said he was very touched by the attention over his role in the ending the attack. He added he has the support of a remarkable security team that is committed to ensuring the safety of members, employees, and visitors to Parliament. When asked, how do you characterize what the 58-year-old Vic Vickers did that day? Members of Parliament, the media, and the public resoundingly settled on one word, hero. News closer to home. Seventh grade is out and about today. A field trip to OMSI. Have a great time. The weather looks pretty nice all day. Then around 4 or 5, we have a 20% chance of showers. Next week is Spirit Week. Dress up one day. Or all five. Monday is Backward Inside Out Day. It's not that complicated. Whatever you're wearing, switch the back to the front or even go inside out. See our beautiful model Colby here? Woo! Looking very lovely with his sweatshirt inside and out and backwards. We'll do our best to remind you every day, but in case you forget, there are signs. Big signs and a few smaller signs. Let's make it a great spirit week. And dress it up. Tickets for the Decades Dance go on sale Monday the 27th. This is your last weekend to wrap up your writing for the Patriots Pen Essay Contest. Turn in the Mrs. Carter in the main office by Thursday. Homecoming football game is here. Well, not really here, but now, or rather tonight, Friday. The papermakers will take on Mountain View Thunder at Doc Hare Stadium. Highlights of the evening include traditional homecoming parade, which begins at 5 p.m., from Jack Will and Rob Center. Senior Recognition Night, where senior participants and their parents are honored, beginning at 6.15 p.m. And presentation of homecoming royalty during halftime. Kickoff is at 7 p.m. and the gates will open at 5.30 p.m. Varsity football tickets prices. Adults, all students in grades 6 through 8th, and high school students without ASB, $5. It's going to be awesome tonight at Doc Harris. Did you see it? We flashed to a candy picture of good and plenty. It's National Good and Plenty Day. This is one of those candies that you either like or don't. Not everyone appreciates licorice, but this licorice tree is the oldest brand of candy in the USA. Good and Plenty was first made in 1893 by the Quaker City Confectionery Company of Philadelphia. In the 1950s, the brand was given a popularity boost by the Choo Choo Charlie television commercial. Choo Choo Charlie was a train engineer that used Good and Plenty to power his locomotive. Do we have to? Good and plenty, good and plenty, good and plenty, good and plenty, good and plenty. Good, and plenty. Uh, good job to Mr. Strong's class. A treat in fake cash is coming your way right after the show. That is the news for Scourge Middle School. Where everybody belongs. Our thought for today is, also from the Skyhawk, a great message left on the banner in the hallway. Take a look. Don't stand by. Stand up. Stand strong. Stand, stand together. together. Remember to follow the Sky Code. Be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. This has been Emma and Colby. Hope, we hope you have a phenomenal Friday and a wonderful weekend. At this time, please stand for the pledge. Ready, begin.